Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. Today we're going to be doing some more Koromon, which is a fun monster training game that's going to be released, I think, second quarter of 2020. This is the demo, which is available for a free download on Steam. Uh, we are, I believe, nearing the end of the demo. We've got to go in here. In the last episode, we got a phone call from our uh, friend, and we need to meet up with him. But uh, I was also, I read, I think, somewhere that the level cap in the demo is 23, which is right there. Um, so I want to say that we are probably... Uh, going to be oh, I don't really want to go in the health center. That's not where I wanted to go uh, But uh, so if we are at the uh, end what we're gonna do is go ahead and start over um, Depending on how much is still left to do uh, We might have some other things we could check out um, How much spinner test center? I don't know where my friend guy is Let's, I can't really log book, but I don't think that really tells me, or is it knowledge is power? I'm trying to think. I should return to the buzz lab at Donor Island for the analysis of the video. Oh, I, I went to the completely wrong place. I thought he was here. Oops, okay. So yeah, there's some other things that we could check out if the video is a little bit short. Uh, so yeah, let's run back over to where I was supposed to go really quickly. I was thinking for some reason he was there But um, he's not so that's fine. We fixed that really easily and uh, We'll check out that uh, video footage um, of our friend getting kidnapped actually and That's not good. So we are hopefully going to be able to which one is the one I bet you Actually, it is this building here that I need to go into. This is the Buzzlet Lab. Let's see if we can find our... Oh, there we go. Here he is. There you are, Stingray. Come, join us. Now that we are here, let me tell you about the results. We researched the video footage extensively, and what we discovered was unsettling. As I mentioned before, I suspected there were traces of Titan Essence left behind by Umbra Noctis. And I was right. Umbra Noctis seems to be utilizing a new power bestowed upon them by a Titan. The power to brainwash people. Oh, that's kind of crazy. That's terrible. Yeah. What? How? I don't know any Titan with such abilities. Neither do I. It seems there is one more Titan of Velua, one whose existence has eluded us all until now. We are not sure where this new Titan is or how Umbra's Noctis managed to obtain its power, and we are also not sure yet how we can defend against the brainwashing. Oh man, that's not good. But our, our friend got taken away by brainwashing. So yeah, this is a big deal. This is going to be like the 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 main I think plot of the uh, game is to be able to get him back. But our brightest minds are working on it as we speak. As a response, we at Lux Solus have set up a special training for all of our trainers in the R and D lab. Drop by as soon as you can, Stingray. We'll, when you do, we'll help you improve your skill as a trainer. I'll do that. Is there anything else I could do to help? No, you should focus on collecting all of the Titan's essences for now. We believe we can utilize the Titan essences you collect in some way to counter the powers from this new Titan. Speaking of which, how is your quest going so far? I've managed to obtain Volgar Titan's essence already, which is good. Well done, Stingray. I knew you had it in you. For your next destination, you should head for the town of Paulberry. You can get there by traveling through Soggy Swamp. There you will find Illusion, the bender of reality. Ooh, 
I'll head back for now and continue my research. Stay strong, Nicola. We will find a way to get Thomas back. Thank you, sir. Shine bright, especially in these dark times. Okay, Stingray, can you come here for a moment? Okay, yeah, sure. It sounds like you got quite an adventure ahead. I thought about it, and I decided that you should have this potential reader. You'll probably need it a lot more than I do anyways. Ooh, that's cool, cool, cool. Thank you. We use that scanner to find Buzzlet and Bazer with a high potential for our company. Since Bazer with a high potential are way more effective at charging our mobile battery packs. Interesting. But you, as a trainer, you can use it to find strong Cormon. With a strong squad, you'll have a better chance at defeating Titans. I do have one request, though. Sure, what is it? Now that you have the potential Rito, could you find some Buzzlet for me? What, what exactly is potential? The, each Cormon has a potential, which can range from 1 up to 21. This reader can measure the precise value of a Coromon's potential. A high enough potential also changes its visual appearance, divided into three categories, standard, potent, and perfect. So its appearance is another indicator for high potential. What I am looking for specifically now are Buzzlet with a potential value of 15 or higher. These fail in the standard category. Okay, I'll do my best. I have a buzzlet, I believe. I'll be in my lab in case you find any. Okay, interesting. I have no, I do not have a buzzlet at all. Um, there was somewhere he told me, I was thinking that he needs four buzzlets. Wow. Okay, that's quite a bit. I feel that he told me to go somewhere, but I guess not. Okay, no problem. Um, I do am a little buzzlet. What was a buzzlet? I'm curious. I wish I knew what I had in my... Um, that's a swarmy. I don't think I've... Hando, Armando, Scanscale... That was, fit. okay. Where's Buzzlet? Oh, there's Buzzlet. Oh, yeah, okay. I could do that. So there's what? There's a lot that we haven't discovered. Uh, quite a bit, actually. I was wondering about that. Lumen, Lamprey. Oh, it tells me if I have them. Does that mean I'm in, it has, I have one in my, no. Well, what else do I have in my, Storage. I was wondering if there's another icon that says, because I know I have a Nibblegar. Okay, so that does not, that little indicator does not mean that it's in my squad. What it means is that it's in my, I've owned one. The Nibblegar was the uh, original that I picked up. Uh, let's switch these guys out a little bit. And make my weaker guys go first. I am such a mean person. That uh, Digmau is uh, quite a strong guy right now. Uh, so we need four Buzzlets with a 15 or higher. So they have to be at least potent. So we can go back. I'm trying to figure out which way I want. I did not mean to push. Um... Everybody's healed. I think what we'll do is take the boat back and start heading off that way. That's I don't I would have sworn that that's where I would have been. Yes, anchors away. I would have um, that would have been a good ending for the demo right there. I thought um, just having that one Titan, but we have some more stuff to do, which is good. Um, we'll have to see if we can find some buzzlets and see what else we run into as we continue our adventure which is awesome i like that, it's, that we have more stuff to do and uh get up there and do you know explore more i am planning to go back through once we go through the demo to see if we can uh get um you know do one of the other um 
starters choose one of the other starters and see how that affects the gameplay and choose the difficulty i want to i want to have a higher difficulty uh, right now we're on normal there's an easy a normal a uh, hard and then there's one above hard i forget exactly what it is uh but there is one above hard so um i don't think it's called impossible but something to that effect uh so we could change that actually in any time of the gameplay if you want but i would like to um i'm gonna try to like play the demo through and then come back through and see how uh hard difficulty um affects the gameplay and um maybe poison i think powder bit is a normal so poison has um uh uh is effective very effective against normal types maybe i'm not sure about that let's see what we got in here we got a oh, five thousand gold and five gold spinner holy holy moly that was all kinds of stuff um what is a there was something in there the gold spinner okay but there was something else i got in there some kind of another something or other it was the potential stinky scent oh a potent attracts Cormon with higher potent for a while well that's going to be useful um i don't think we're going to try it right now i want to see what's up here first i bet you anything i caught it the uh the demo the at the beginning when you first come into the game on the first episode there was a two guys standing there right at the beginning they were the demo um or the developers uh the two guys were standing there developers and told you a little bit about the game and there's two people up there i think those are the developers again and they're going to tell you the demo is over it is my guess here that's what i'm calling right now oh wow he's fast i'm hoping that double slash is going to be able to oh yeah take care of him sweet oh he's almost up to 23 there so yeah i'm gonna say that the oh we got i was just about to turn up and talk to him Ooh, a buzzlet but he's not is he potent is he it usually will tell no he's not potent at all um electricity my digma would be the best against electricity types um i'm not sure he's pretty low but i'm thinking if i can get the sand on him uh he will lightning strike not should yeah not very effective but if i go with boulder barrage which is a sand type so these two are sand types and then my other two are cut types so i'm going to assume that sand type is going to be very effective um which is the case against electric types there we go that worked out really easily oh yeah he's level 23 dim uh, dig mount reached the highest level available in the demo okay so we knew that was going to happen so let's see what these two guys have to say joshim i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly hello again officially this is where the demo ends that's what i was thinking i was saying that was a perfect spot to end the demo marcel we hope you enjoyed Coromon so far i absolutely love the game Please help us improve the game by giving us your feedback and keep an eye out for the full version. I will do that. As a reward for completing the demo, you'll receive a unique headgear when you play the full game while this save game is present. Ooh, there you go. So we need to not delete the save game for, I need at least one saved game with the demo finish. Also take this upgraded Lux recall item, you can use it to travel around Vuela more easily. Be sure to check out special training in the R&D lab if you haven't already. Okay, cool. So... Come challenge us at the training grounds at Lux Solis Campus. 
So we're going to jump to, um, let's go and use that upgraded um, thing of my bobber here. Probably is just a like a Lux recall that you can use anytime. Yeah, recall to any teleporter. So yeah, to allow you to jump around and move and do stuff. Um, R&D, I would assume, would be in the Lux Solus campus. That is where we start out. Um, so let's go and see if we can find the R&D lab. That's a Cormon lab. Um, well, hmm. Let, this was the, sp oh, that was the spinner lab. This might be the R&D lab. Okay. So there was something we were supposed to check out. Work, work, work. Gotta work. No time for a break. Okay. There was something we were supposed to check out at the R&D lab, I'm pretty sure. This will be my best invention ever, okay? Another gauntlet. They're probably using this one for research. Ooh, maybe I'll get a special uh, gauntlet. Stingray, you must be here for the new throwing arm training. One moment, please. I'll go and get the instructor. There we go. Let's see what this is all about. Sir, the next trainer is ready. Who is this going to be? He's invisible. No! Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, it's me. <laughs> it's me with red hair. Hey, you as your throwing arm. I thought so. Come on, we'll do something about that. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I agree with that. Oh, did I get kidnapped? That's it. Keep it up. What in the world is going on? <laughs> One more time. Are we like doing something? Throwing something? You really showed that punching bag. Oh, we powered up something. After training your throwing arm, your chance to catch wild Cormon increased. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, that's really nice of them to do that. Um, I was going to think maybe we can go around and look and uh, check out and see if we can find any other Cormon maybe, but I'm thinking that we've seen all that are probably available in this area. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit of a short episode, but let's go up here and check out the, uh, the difficulty is here's where we can set so easy uh basically cormon restore hp on a level up shop items are 50 percent off and cormon cakes may be used on a painted cormon normal that is what we played it is just the normal experience um hard and difficult can i not go up oh i can't go above that now it won't let me change it up okay so we're gonna have to start other one Hard and insane ad rules that are relative to the Nuzlocke rules that you see in typical Pokemon uh, games. We could also check out uh, the other Cormon that we have trapped, or not trapped, was able to capture just out of kind of a curiosity to see what all is available in the demo. Uh, there may be some that might be available. I don't know if there's some... I wouldn't say um, super secret or anything like that, but just a rarer type. So we got a Beazle. Um, he started out as a Buzzlet, I think, if I remember correctly. He's an, oh, he's a standard type. I was thinking he was an electric type. He's a standard type with a uh, with some poison ability, like Double Sting. Um, oh, Double Sting is it, but Venomous Bees is. Uh, we also had uh, Nibblegar was a starter, which is a water type. Armado, we have one of those. Um, I think he's a normal type too, if I recall. Oh, yeah, standard. Um, Lumen is an electric type that turned in Lamprey, if I remember correctly. Um... Yeah, he's electric. He turned into Lamprey, and um, yeah, I really liked him. Moffle is the like 
I always called him a weasel, but he looks more like a um, a dragon on the uh, when he upgrade or uh, evolves. But yeah, uh, Mothful is a sand type. Sequel, I believe, is a um, normal type as well. A standard type. It's a bird. Uh, so he has some nice things in there as well. Swarmy, I believe, yeah, turned into the Beezle and then the Patter Bit um, ends up evolving into a Patter Bite. I love puns. I love it. I love it. So there's basically what we were able to find. And then we have the, uh, ba yeah, the Buzzlet turned into a Bazer. What it turned into, um, that's not what I wanted to do database let me see if i can find that out nibblegar swarmy turns into a bezel and then a something else turns into mawful digma buzzlet turns into a bazaar bazaar that's it lunar pup looks like a really nice one it's pretty cool uh has some really nice uh special abilities but that's pretty close to all the ones we found, uh, Patterbit, Patterbite, Toddle was a tadpole kind of guy. I'd like to see what he ends up evolving into. Gloss Slime is a cool one. There was definitely some very, very cool um, Udoji or Odoji was really cool. He has this really cool power that's called Voodoo, which actually doesn't hurt the one he's fighting, but hurts one of the other uh, Cormon in the, uh, squad, so that's kind of interesting ability. Um, so there we go. We found, uh, only a few potent ones. Um, I'm trying to think, yeah, my pattern bit, my Lamprey was a potent. Uh, I think the Lumen evolved from, yeah. And then I have a couple more, I know that. My buzzlet or some of those mawful was which was digmon i think my buzzlet bazaar was too i definitely had several of the um uh sub four of these of these six are uh potent at least so there we go that's the demo um i very much enjoyed this game it it to say the games like these, yes, it was inspired by Pokemon or other monster training games, but there is a lot that they have added to it. Uh, from what I remember of the Pokemon game, I played once you had your squad, your second guy always had to come out when your first got KO'd. So here, Slitherpin had to come out. He, he just would be the next one to come out after Patterbit got uh, KO'd in a, a tra trainer battle. Well, in this, I could choose which one comes out, which is a huge ability. Also, you have two types of um, levels. So you have your basic level, which is your, um, you know, your normal experience points to go up to your levels. And then you have underneath that, the blue bar is a, a potential level. So once you fill that one up, you get to add some of your own ability points or stat points in wherever you want to assign them can you, so you can make each Cormon very special how you want to do and how you want to play them um a lot of the stuff here the items i don't know about again i did not mean to do that um it also has um skill power which is i don't think the Pokemon does at least the one I played it didn't um, which adds a little bit more variety a little bit more strategery in the game because as you use each skill it uses some skill power and you could be depleted of that but still be full health and you have to take a rest to refill some of that um, then you have basic your healing cakes um, then some of your uh, status effect removes and then your revive stuff as well you get to have some clothing it looks like you could change some stuff so i can put my walker my pink top and my worker so your spinners are what you use to capture the core mon and then there's different ones for different uh, 
Like you have your spinner, silver spinner, and golden spinner are just upgrades for each. Uh, and then you have um, ones that are specified or works better with a specific type of core mod. So a plain one would be normal and a static would be electric. And then a trick spinner is supposed to be able to use that at the start of the battle to capture someone, but I never ended up doing this. So yeah, some other stuff that we can get. I uh, definitely could uh, could have used a few of these a little bit better. My fruits, when you give them the Cormon, they'll he they're held until something happens, like restore 70% of HP when in danger uh, at risk at the risk of getting a status element. So when you're in danger, it's still just like you'll give this to your Cormon and then he'll um, heal up when it reaches that um whatever condition it is so this is just it receives 50 percent when in danger so when your health is really low i'm assuming you'll get 50 percent of your uh, hp back so yeah so yeah definitely some of these could have been uh used better um i don't think i used any of this stuff back these manuals i think uh is there a why i'm here difficulty handbook so you got three no four dif four difficulties so we did easy and normal so hard if one of your core mod faints it will leave your squad which is going to be a hard thing um and you can't escape from any battle real trainers should stand up for themselves um that i think i've escaped two or three times just out of um x what's the word to expediate things um, because I was trying to go through the tunnel and get to a certain spot so I'd exit out of them. Uh, I never ran to or never tried to escape because I was hurt. I don't recall doing that. Um, and then insane would be the rules of hard and then you can't use any recall items, which is going to be hard. And then you may only catch the first Cormon you encounter in each area. And if it faints or flees, you're out of luck though you are free to capture any perfect Cormon. Interesting. Um, so yeah, that those difficulties would make it much, much harder and very much along the lines of what you would see in the normal Nuzlocke um, rules of uh, typical Pokemon games. So there you go. That's it. That's the demo. Uh, we're going to come back and try one of the other. We're not going to focus on the story as much. But we're going to go in and see if we can explore uh, one of the other starters and see if maybe we'll get lucky and find some other things as well. Some no more Cormon, different Cormon. I wouldn't mind like going back through the trainer battles and see if that's a static thing or if it is a random, you know, the, the Cormon that they have in the trainer battles. Is that a static thing or is it a random, some kind of randomization there? I would like to see a randomization so that it would be, you know, a little bit more interesting to, you know, replay and that sort of thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.